I'm going to call to the stage is a gentleman who performed us twice. Um, he just recently lost his best friend. Um, actually, his best friend was a poet here at the African Poetry Theatre with us. And he goes by the name of Wizard. Wizard, um, rest in peace. We sent our goals out to his family as well. Um, I'm going to call his best friend to the stage right now. Um, he's a very good poet. And he goes by the name of K-Pop. Put your hand together for K-Pop. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Yeah. In regard to his meta, metaphysical and and him passing, he's having a press conference tomorrow on 55th Ave. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Oh, Sunday. 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 Oh, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Right. And, um, yeah, that's actually the spot where he, uh, um, so, yeah, where he passed. Well, this piece is called Shotgun Stories in Lahore, and it goes, the dark slow murmur of the shotguns scattered pebble shots tattered the skull in bursts and in bursts the bones connected where poles are interjected the neurons are no and neurons are interconnected the muscular fiber is no match for the pebbles as the lighter is no match for the cigarette no more death no more tattered skulls when when shotguns cease to release not when unborn babies are exhaled thighs that bore too much, without lips and always without a lover's touch, a c-section and afterwards a clitorectomy, so dirty scalpels can remove the pleasure. Now whenever she moans, he knows it's not for his sake, so he leaves the acid on the dresser to throw on her face. No need for a court case, no need for a doctor, in this man's world she's just another hideous monster who deserves to be beaten down. When she looks at him without a nose, why did you make me do it? He screams while she passively accepts his blows. Some nights when she's raped, she can smell her skin melt against the hot cigarette ash, leaving flakes on her temple, her skin no match for the heat on the tip of his cigarette. Her strength was endurance, thinking only of her daughter and her name. Who would marry her if I start to complain? And when the wood strikes her back solely because the rice is too plain, she sheds tears of joy, knowing it could have been worse, knowing if she had not put out water to quench his thirst, her husband would paint intricate patterns of bruises across the canvas of her skin. Now sounds are heard rather dim due to the years of his fists pounding on her ears. The beatings are more frequent, but the tears grow less severe. But the night she found her daughter in a ditch, there, cold, freshly slaughtered, rivers resurrected in her eyes, flowing down the crevices of her face. No wrinkles but wads of flesh, staring at the bloody remains of her firstborn, breathing her last breath. She wept and cried until her husband arrived with a shotgun, and the pebbles explored her skull while he screamed, you did this, you stupid boy. Just another story murmured from the battle of the Shaka, commonplace on the streets of the whole. I want to speak just to bring attention to the type of atrocities that happen internationally to women right under our noses. So we uh, you know, rarely get a chance to even hear about such. This piece is called The American Dream. Goes. On uh, what instructions do our constructions permeate the poison that resonates the noise in our souls to scream? To deaf ears, years of fear reared in notes of hatred, fueled by pangs of love, hidden like gangs of thugs in white houses, quieter than holiday mouses, and blinder than those three. So the epitome of democracy is anything communist conjured up to be. So what we see is nothing but numbers, rationalized blunders, oxymoronic like just wars, truth perpetually driven asunder, smart bombs acting quite dumb when they miss targets and hit crowded civilian markets, witness the laughable tragic drama when Saddam's are hung for the crimes of Osama while raping Mama Earth so it gives birth to miscarriages of mirth, keeping the masses satisfied with the lies fabricated by our classes, the separation of intelligence and state and religion used as bait these fascists flying to those half awake, hail will fall from the frozen rivers of sticks when the city stops raising dicks that pollute the sky.
trading until the ozone is defrauded. But what attention is given to the sunshine that's in prison itself to greenhouse effect? So put away all those knives and texts, because global warming will bring the heat like jets that were discreet, so much so that they're invisible, like the cancer from radiation and atomic bombs. So U.S. history makes a mystery to what happens to Japanese moms in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, nearly thorns and history's palms. In mystery, it calms down to nothingness, remaining thin like leaves, hagakiri, surreptitious these thieves, robbing innocents from graves of future slaves, present indentured servants, whose masters hide behind curtains, banks holding out loot for uncertain amounts of time. Ah, the capitalistic paradigm. Interesting how interest rates don't decline when cash is hard to find for masses that live much below the poverty line. And employment is not for the mind, but decapitated bodies. Minds folded between the fine lines of commercials, infinite rehearsals to invent its intrinsic paternal control. So the Pandora's box unfolds. But where is the hope when populations of minorities are poisoned with dope? Supplied by the same men who rips them with ropes that stitch the patch quilt of legislation, even controlling our public viewing stations. So how do we cope when popes get their own cities while people dwell in cells of perfidy? And first world children watch Sesame Street while third world kids listen to the lullabies of semi-automatics, the tragic lives of children who witness their mothers and sisters raped must be fake how they survive even with brothers and fathers burned alive. But who cares anyways? Our airwaves and movies, even video games, cruelly condition our apathy. So the corpses of women and children exponentially climbing internationally don't matter, so long as our bellies can get fatter and our minds produce that negative data. And the same fucking song plays over and over on popular mediums. Ignorance seeps slower and slower into our brains. We sleep, never to weep again. And until the end, we pretend not to see ourselves as the cause of the global holocaust. Because the city never sleeps, but indeed it's deep. How ignorance perpetuates the petulant screams. And with waking eyes, we hallucinate the American dream. Oh.